own pursuant to standing order 71 which states the question on any motion shall not be proposed unless it shall have been seconded and any motion that is not seconded shall be deemed to have been withdrawn and shall not be moved again in the same session unless with the permission of the speaker. Honorable Senators, as I communicated earlier by way of message on the resolution of the Kisi County Assembly made on Thursday, 29 February 2024, for the removal from office by impeachment of Honorable Dr. Robert Monda, the Deputy Governor of Kisi County, Section 33A of the County Government Act, and Standing Order 81B of the Senate, provides that the Senate may, one, by resolution, appoint a special committee comprising 11 of its members to investigate the matter, or two, investigate the matter in plenary, Three, the motion having been withdrawn pursuant to standing order 71, the route of a special committee is abandoned, and that now implies that the Senate will investigate the proposed removal from the office by impeachment of Honorable Dr. Robert Monda, the Deputy Governor of Kisi County in plenary pursuant to section 33A of the County Government Act and standing order 81B2. Honorable Senators, at its meeting held on Tuesday, 5th March 2024, the Senate Business Committee considered the provisional dates for this investigation in the event that the matter was to be investigated in plenary. In line with the schedule of activities for an impeachment hearing in plenary, I hereby give the following directions. A. The clerk to issue invitations to appear Invitations to appear to the parties by tomorrow. I believe it's invitations to the parties to appear by tomorrow, Friday, 8th March, 2024. Be the parties to file their responses with the Office of the Clerk of the Senate by Monday, 11th March, 2024, by 5 p.m. C, the clerk to circulate documents received from the parties, including the plenary hearing program, to all honorable senators by 11 a.m. on Tuesday. To form the government that is in place. There was a promise that was made to the people of Kenya. This bill, Madam Speaker, seeks to fulfill that promise, where in the objects to the bill, it is seeking to provide a framework for development and access to affordable housing and institutional housing and for connected purposes. And therefore, Madam Speaker, part of that which we are seeking to do is to fulfill the promise that was made to the people of Kenya in the course of the campaigns. And Madam Speaker, I would like to invite my very good friend and neighbor, Senator uh, Olekina, to read in detail and as a whole the provisions of the Constitution of Kenya, which he made reference to, Article 431B. More importantly, Schedule 1, Part 1, Section 20, and Schedule 4th Schedule, Part 2, that gives the role of the National Assembly, uh, of, of the National Government, and the county governments. That way, he will be able to appreciate the fact that this bill does not and I repeat does not take off the role of any level of government from the other. It only seeks to establish that fact. Madam what's Speaker, your, in the interest uh, of time we are seat, Senator Hillary, what's your point of order, Senator Ledama? Madam Speaker, I would hate to correct my brother. My point was very clear. National government deals with the issue of policy. But if you look at standing, can you? St are you the speakers? Allow him to Please. finish what if you go saying. to If you go to the Constitution on Schedule 4, I think even Section 18, you will see that how 